Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, YouTube, Top 10 Tasks. Completed fast, 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 for those interested in becoming Google Certified Educator, Level 1. Number 1. Subscribe to Channels. Okay, the first task is to subscribe to different YouTube channels. So let's say you're looking for a channel that has to do with mathematics. You can type in math. And then you can go to filter, channel, and you've got math learning videos, number file, math whisperer, a bunch of different uh, math uh, YouTube channels. And maybe you're just looking for a math video. So you'll open up a math video. And as you're watching the video, you decide that you like the video so all you have to do is hit the subscribe button right down here I'll hit the button and now my sub and now I am subscribed right down here it says subscription added number two create a playlist now let's say you would like to create a playlist on uh, biology videos so you'll type in cell biology and maybe you'll open up a video right here called the tour of the cell and if you want to create a playlist on cell biology what you could do here is you can go down here and you see this add to you're gonna click on this it'll open up and now you can create new playlist. So I'll press create new playlist. What are we going to title it? We'll call it biology class playlist. And you can make it public or private. Let's just make it private for now. And create. Down here it says playlist has been added. So, you've, so we've added one video. Let's say we want to add this video as well to the playlist. You can open up the video. Again, click Add To, and you see where it says Biology Class Playlist. We're going to add to that as well, and it's been added to this uh, playlist as well. And if you take a look at your library now, as I refresh the page, you see here our playlist, Biology Class Playlist. These are the two videos that I've added, and you can edit the playlist as well by adding descriptions and things like that. Number three, save a video or a playlist. Now let's say you wanna save a video. For example here, um, I'll just click on uh, Eli Manning's emotional response to him being benched for Geno Smith, which is unfortunate. If I want to save this video, I'll just scroll down and I'll click add to and I can add to my watch later, which means I'll always be able to watch it. And now it's been added to my watch later video and it's essentially uh, saved. And also anytime that you like a video, it's being saved to your liked uh, video playlist. So if I like it as well, the video is also being saved. Number four, work the search history. Now let's say I want to manage my search history. I'm simply going to go to the library and in that section you'll see where it says history. I'll click on that. And here are the different searches. You can see the, the previous ones I've done. So let's say I want to delete this and remove this, and remove this from my watch history. I simply click by the X. Um, I can also uh, filter for search history so I'll press search these are some of the things I've searched uh, quadratics uh, Stephen A. Smith, Eli Manning uh, five out uh, motion offense uh, coach basketball, things like that um, and you can you can delete any type of history here, comments and you can delete these as well number 5 
Number five, filter video slash playlist. I just want to filter for video playlist. Um, now you can filter for video playlist um, channels, all different sorts of things. So let's say I, I'm, I'm looking for um, the topic will be the uh, uh, blended learning. Blended learning. Uh, you know what? Let's make the topic the flipped classroom. And here it starts with uh, regular videos, but perhaps I want to filter to, okay, I'm looking for a certain type of video, something that was uh, uploaded this, this week. And here's something that was uploaded this week. And then maybe I want to filter. I don't want a video. I, I, I want to filter, let's say, uh, a long video, longer than 20 minutes. Now we've got longer videos. You can also filter by, for example, a, a playlist. You could filter by channel, etc., and so forth. Number six, share a video. Now let's say you want to share a video. Okay, go to the home page. You're watching a video that you like, for example, motion offense, and you want to share this with another coach. Scroll down, and you'll see this little icon here that looks like an arrow. It says share. Click on that, and this is the link. You can just email somebody the link, copy this link, and send it to somebody. Um, you can share it on Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, uh, Facebook, Blogger, any sort. Uh, for example, um, maybe I want to share this on uh, I don't know, let's say uh, uh, Twitter. Here, tweet, motion options. Okay, my tweet has been posted. Number seven, upload videos. Now, now let's say you would like to upload a video. If you ever want to upload a video, you can go right here to upload again it's it's this icon right here and um, you can drag and drop um, I'll set it to private because I because I don't want it to be public yet I'll click this thing right here no file chosen I'll go to my desktop here's the desktop I'll scroll down and here's a Google uh, level one uh, unit three video seven minutes it's actually gonna be longer than that this is just the, the rough copy so I'll double click this and it's being uploaded um, right now and um, you can title it you can give a description for example um, this is Google certified educator so I would tag Google and things like that number eight create a channel now this is uh, on my school YouTube account, so let's say I want to create a YouTube channel. I simply go here, click on my channel, okay, use YouTube as, this is your name, Frank Avella, and then click create channel. And from here, you can um, customize your channel. Um, this will be your creative steward studio, but let's just start uh, basically with a customized channel. And from here, you would add channel art. Um, you could put a profile picture, which would uh, show up here. Um, and you would add videos and, and all these things as, as um, we go forward. The first thing you would want to do right, is a video channel. So you would want to um, upload and actually add some videos to the channel. Number nine, edit videos. Now let's say you would like to edit some of your videos. You would click here, go to Creator Studio. Video Manager. 
okay and let's say you want to edit one of your videos so this is one I did on a, a behavior intervention plan you can go to enhancements which you can fix for lighting coloring things like that probably one of the best things you can do is um, trim your video okay so you could trim out parts you would press this here and then you could trim out parts using using this thing okay number 10 manage a channel again you're at your channel and uh, to manage this channel you click on uh, video manager and you can manage your account by a, a bunch of different things you you could um, take a look at your channel um, you can add some branding I have a subscription watermark advanced features uh, what country keywords if they're looking up a channel um, you can do live streaming The video manager allows you to create playlists here. You could edit playlists. The one we just created. You can manage your channel any way you like.